Alrighty, today's topic is finger control. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you three different hacks and exercises which will drastically improve your hand speed today. Right now, I want to give a big shout out to Nils Fjellström, Jan Benkwitz and Florian Klein, aka The Torturer. These three drummers and their finger control lessons at the Drum Scenic Academy built the groundwork for these following tips. So if you want to check out their full tutorials, just join our community at drumtechniqueacademy.net. You can watch their full lessons in the lesson section of our membership zone right after you sign up. Alrighty, hack number one, gaffer tape, fulcrum point fixation. When you first start to work on finger control, then you want to grab the stick with your thumb and your index finger like this. That's your leverage point. And your middle finger, ring finger and pinky are helping you to move the stick up and down like this. I know this sounds easy, but it's actually not that easy at all. The one thing that's really hard to figure out in the beginning is the right amount of pressure applied with your thumb and index finger to hold the drumstick. If you hold the stick too tight, then you'll fatigue really quickly. You'll feel that unnecessary tension in your forearms. And once you get tired, the grip will loosen up a bit. But then you'll start to slide up on the stick and your fulcrum point is going to change which is also not what we want. And here's the little hack to solve this issue. Just place some extra gaffer tape right in front of the fulcrum point. This way it will be way easier to stay at that one point on the stick where it's easy to bounce the stick up and down like this. After you've placed that gaffer tape on your drumsticks, you will notice that it will feel a bit weird in the beginning. But no worries, you'll get used to it really quick. Just do a 20 to 30 minute endurance practice session of single strokes at a comfortable tempo and you'll be fine. Now let's continue with the second exercise for today. This one focuses on the finger motion itself. Here's one big issue that doesn't seem to get any attention at all. Almost everyone who starts working on finger control finds it really easy to produce that snap or snapping motion. So closing the fingers, that part of the motion when the stick travels towards the drum head, or in this case drum pad is easy. But the way more important part of that motion sequence happens right after the drumstick hits the playing surface. Right then you got to be able to open your fingers in time to get out of the way of the returning stick. What happens here is that most drummers either open their fingers way too fast, this way they are losing control over the returning stick, or they don't get out of the way fast enough. This way you will kill the rebound and the finger control is not working at all. What you want to get down first is that your fingers just follow the returning stick perfectly in time. And an easy way to do so is by using bigger drumsticks, especially marching sticks. Those big marching sticks give you way more feedback and it's way easier to learn how to follow along the returning stick and get out of the way of the returning stick. If you want to work on that opening motion and start at a very slow tempo and just do unison strokes for long periods of time. Focus especially on that opening motion of your fingers right after the drumstick hits the drum head or pad. The big downside of every regular drumstick right here is that you can't really play that slow and internalize that finger motion. You need to keep the stick moving up and down all the time. So it's not that easy to learn that motion even with these big marching band sticks. And this brings me to the final and biggest hack right here. With patience and persistence, you will be able to learn that finger control technique, no doubt. Yes, you're going to hit some frustrating plateaus along the way, but after some time, you will most probably get that final desired result. At one point, I started to look for a solution to shorten that learning curve. I wanted to be able to teach my one-on-one -on -one coaching students the finger control within just one teaching session. And when I finally found the solution to that problem, I can proudly say that every single one of my students got the finger control technique down within an unusual short period of time. The solution or practice tool which helped my students achieve their goals way quicker is the workout stick by drumnerds.net. This workout stick offers a movable weight which can be placed in four different positions. One setting back here, the so-called practice setting, which is behind the leverage point at the butt end of the drumstick. And you also got three different workout settings placed in front of the leverage point. For the finger control development, we just need the practice setting. When you place that extra weight back there, you are able to slow down the up and down motion of the stick drastically. This means that you can start to develop your finger control technique in slow motion. And this, my friends, makes it extremely easy to correct each single flaw in that opening and closing motion of your fingers. 
Since you got that extra weight from the drumstick and also the additional drumstick weight, it's just no problem anymore to develop the feel for the opening motion. This way you'll quickly learn how to open up your fingers in time right after the stick hits the pad. So basically that workout stick is just a tool for accelerated learning which works amazingly well. So for those of you who own the workout sticks already, just place the stick weight at the end of the stick and focus on that up and down motion. Practice with each hand separately at first, then switch to unison strokes and after that switch to single strokes. That's it. Like I mentioned in the beginning, with all those tips I'm just standing on the shoulders of giants. I had the privilege to learn about the finger control technique from drummers like Nils Fjellström, Jan Bankwitz and Florian Klein. If you want to check out their full in-depth tutorials then just join our community at drumtechniqueacademy.net. Right there you get access to more than 80 technique lessons and drumming courses right after you sign up and you'll also get access to new hand technique tutorials, new foot technique tutorials and workout videos each week. So make sure to join us there at drumtechniqueacademy.net. Also make sure to subscribe so that you never miss another video again. Leave a like in case you learned something new today my friends and don't forget to comment below if you like me to cover a certain topic next. That's it for today's video. Cheers from Vienna. Bye bye.